Well everyone, it's not every single iPhone that ever comes out ends up getting better throughout time. Now theoretically speaking, yes, they get updates, they get bug fixes and whatnot, but for the most part, the way the iPhone kind of is presented the first time is usually how it ends up kind of becoming throughout its whole entire lifespan. We've seen this with the iPhone 8, 8 Plus, iPhone 10, iPhone 11 Pro, iPhone 12 Pro, the 12 series in general, iPhone 13s, and now with the iPhone 14s, we kind of know what we're getting as soon as those iPhones come out, but there's actually probably one or two iPhones that I can think of that probably ended up getting way better throughout time and honestly when these iPhones first came out I wasn't that big of a fan of them but one of those iPhones is actually the iPhone XS. Now back in 2018 when this iPhone first came out I wasn't that big of a fan of this device for one physically you know it didn't really look that much different than the iPhone X in fact it looked pretty much exactly the same thing I think even the displays were pretty much almost the same thing as well but internally there were massive changes Changes. You know, this was the first iPhone to bring four gigabytes of RAM. We also got an upscale, you know, front camera a little bit, and there were some other changes here and there. But even more so than the changes, then what ended up changing was the fact that Apple probably took more advantage of that Apple A12 Bionic chip compared to its predecessor. So when we look at an iPhone like the iPhone XS, and this iPhone, theoretically speaking, is pretty much, you know, a massive difference nowadays compared to the iPhone X. And this is something that's actually very insane to me. When you look at something like the iPhone X, you don't really see too many differences between that and the iPhone XS. But there are big differences between the iPhone X and the iPhone XS. And because of that, I don't really think I've seen another big difference like that between the iPhone X and any other iPhone for the most part. Meaning that if you look at, you know, between one generation to the other, you know, the iPhone 11 Pro to the 12 Pro, 12 Pro to the 13 Pro, software wise, there's not really too many differences. But it's really with the iPhone XS, like, I would say the iPhone XS is more in line with an iPhone, you know, 11 Pro than an iPhone X is to the iPhone XS. So I will definitely say at the end of the day, the iPhone XS is one of those iPhones that's probably have aged better than a lot of other iPhones that a lot of people are thinking about right now. Truly, I can't really think of any other iPhone that has, you know, been this big of a difference from one generation to the other just based on software. Between the hardware, there's been lots of iPhones like that. The iPhone 4, iPhone 10, even iPhone 13 Pro. But software-wise, I just can't really think of any. Maybe the 6 to the 6S, but current phones that are supported, I would definitely say the iPhone XS has aged very well. And even though the battery size was smaller than the 10 and it looked almost identical, I'll definitely give it credit here where it's due. So... That pretty much covers it up. If you have any other thoughts or questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, help me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.